hi guys welcome back to the channel all right so i did some videos today but they won't be uploaded until the morning time so i thought let's do a quick video before i you know go to bed <laughs> so this is gonna be how the person on your mind views you at this time and yeah that's what we're gonna do all right so let me get some of these cards and see all right so the person how does the person on your mind at this time, how do they view you? Give me some of these oracle cards, please. How does the person on your mind view you right now? Let's see. All right, let's see, let's see what comes out. All right, we have clouds, so distractions. So you are a big distraction for this person when they're trying to focus, when they're trying to work, okay? When they're just trying to forget about your ass, okay? I feel like you are just a big distraction for this person. They can't focus, okay? So we have clouds, distractions right here. All right, let's see what else. How does this person think about you right now? How does this person feel about you? Okay, let's see. Um, bullseye, focus. Okay, what did I just say? They can't focus. And this says bullseye focus. So they're just like focused completely on you, right? So this person could be watching you or they can't help but to watch you. Like say, you know, they're, they know, they try not to watch you, but you know, your social media page is right there. So let me just take a little look, you know what I'm saying? Or I don't know how else this person could spy on you, but um, it does seem like a little bit of spying or, you know, just a little look-see here, look-see there, you know? This person cannot help but to pay attention to you and it's very distracting and it's just so inconvenient, you know, when they're just trying to be productive on their day-to-day. -day. All right, so that's annoying <laughs> all right the person on your mind right now how are they feeling about you okay one more card how's this person feeling about you the person on your mind how is this person feeling about you at this time let's see all right we have moon emotions okay all right so this person definitely is in their feels about you um this could be around nighttime too like when um the sun goes down i feel like that's more so because that's when this person's alone so you know nighttime is when you are home in your bed chilling you know and um that's when this person's not around people so they are most likely in their emotions or most likely on their phone scrolling maybe they see something of yours you know what i'm saying so yeah um yeah definitely has some strong feelings when it comes to you um, and yeah, bottom of the deck, we have infinite, in, un, sorry, bottom, <laughs> bottom of the deck, we have infinity, unlimited potential. So, you know, this person is starting to think about, you know, maybe, um, the potential is not dead between you two. Maybe there's another chance that could happen. Maybe there's a opportunity for this person to make a comeback or, or turn things around. Maybe things are not as bad as it seems. They're starting to have those kind of thoughts pop up in their head, okay? All right, so now we're going to get into the tarot and see how does this person feel about you at this time. So let's see. All right, so how the person on your mind currently, how do they feel about you at this time? How do they feel about you at this time? Let's see. Give me some cards. The person on your mind right now, how do they feel about you at this time? How do they feel about you at this time? Let's see. All right, let's get some cards. All right, four of wands, very interesting. So this person could be thinking about you and a way of feeling like home, like close to home, like, you know, personal energy connection energy okay this could also be relationship wise thinking about how it would be to be in a relationship with you what ifs energy okay um let's see what else comes out all 
All right, three of swords. They also could be thinking like, you know, sadness, having that heartbreak energy, um, you know, feeling still in their feelings, but still feeling hurt by how things ended. If you guys are in the separation or if you guys had an argument or just temporarily not speaking, this person definitely does feel some type of way about that. All right, let's see what else. Justice, okay? This is someone who is going back and forth about whether or not to come and make things right with you or how they can make things right, okay? Um, do I apologize? Do I just try to talk it out with them? Do I ask them out so that we can clear the air? How do I go about that, you know? Do I even go about that? I don't know. So someone's kind of going back and forth thinking, hmm, should I? Should I not? Hmm, should I? Should I not? You know, it's like, uh, I don't know. I think about it some days, but then I'm like, no. But then I'm like, maybe. Okay. Let's see two more cards for how this person feels. Let's see. All right. Seven of Pentacles. All right. So this is someone who, you know, is trying to have patience about the situation because they are trying to see like maybe you would come around first or maybe you'll show some signs of interest, okay? This is someone too who is thinking about um, everything, all the like memories that you guys have shared or all the time that you guys have put in with each other, wondering if it's time to, you know, um, what do you call, what do you call it? Like, um, you know, like, go elsewhere or do they continue to tend this connection and try to see if it's going to grow or is it already dead that kind of thing and one more card please and then we're going to clarify all right five of swords okay if you had a really bad argument with this person or you guys said some really tough things to one another or you know you called it how you seen it but it was kind of harsh this person is kind of replaying those that situation in their head for sure. All right, with the Five of Swords. And yeah, definitely with the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's something that really bothers this person. It doesn't sit right with them. Um, and it does haunt them kind of with that Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck, okay? All right, so let's clarify these cards and see what's really going on here. I do feel like this person misses you. Okay, I do. I definitely feel like this person misses you. And it could be like subconsciously because I feel like this person has tried to ignore their feelings for so long, but it's just kind of like popping up, you know, very inconveniently for them, you know, and their emotional side is starting to come out, which is something that they're not really used to or they didn't even think that it was, they might not even realize how deep their emotions still run, right? So it could be very shocking and surprising, but I don't know. The fact that they are thinking about this justice does show that they do, you know, they're not trying to, they're not in denial about their feelings, okay? So what's the Four of Wands here? What's the Four of Wands? All right, Four of Wands is the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? So this is someone here who does think about you in a way of, oh, you know, what if we were in a relationship again? Or if you're never in a connection with this person, they may think of what would it be like to be in a relationship with you or to have that stable home life with you or, you know, have harmony in our in our connection where we're not fighting, where everything is positive and we're good. It's stress-free. But they're wondering if you even had the passion for that anymore or if you would even be thrilled for that anymore like if you're even attracted to that type of situation with them anymore with the ace of wands in reverse give me one more card for the four of wands all right eight of wands in reverse yeah because someone just doesn't know if they can pick back up where they left off with you and still have that outcome 
because maybe I don't know they just don't think that maybe you're still interested in that that having that again like you know they definitely knew in the past you were but they don't know after everything that you guys been through if that's still an option with that eight of wands in reverse they don't even know if you guys still have that bond you know because so much has happened and transpired between you two and especially with that five of swords being the last that you guys kind of heard of each other it's kind of a tricky situation here right but someone is wondering do we still have that strong bond do we still have that spiritual connection that i know of do we still you know are we when we if we reconnect are we still going to bounce back you know or is that long gone all right so three of swords is here for this person let's talk about that give me the three of swords please three of swords three of swords All right, let's see. All right, Ten of Pentacles. It does hurt this person because they did view you or see you as someone that they were going to, that was going to be in their life long term or that they were hoping that would happen. Even if this person was the one that made a mistake or, you know, they did F up, this person did view you as someone that they could have a long term um, stability with, you know, someone that they could really go the extra mile with, or there could have been marriage or family together. Like if, if they could think about it now, they do envision that for you guys. And it's kind of like, oh, well, I'm, I, I hate that it had to end the way that it did. Clarify the three of swords even further. All right. Five of swords. Yeah. Because there was such a like, tough moment of this ending or departure that you guys had that it wasn't just like an amicable walk away it was very feisty and angry and maybe even vulgar it's kind of like you know I, I don't even know if, if the ten of pentacles would exist moving forward you know but with the high priestess on the bottom of the deck someone's inner voice keeps speaking to them about you know you what's the justice card please so this could be why the justice is popping out because it's like someone's inner voice is telling them, hey, see if you can make things right or, you know, you keep getting this inkling to make things right. Justice card, talk things out. All right, seven of pentacles, right? Because, and that's the next card, by the way, but it just came out for the justice. It's like, there's so much that, um, there's so much either history that you and this person have or there's so much potential that you and this person have that it's just, it would be a waste to just throw this connection away and never try again, you know? At least try. At least try to get things in order. At least try to resolve things. Because if you don't, you'll always have that um, regret of not trying to smooth things over. It would be such a waste. Give me one more card, please. I just seen a seven of wands, so it's like fighting for your love, you know, that kind of thing. It's kind of, you know, seven of wands is like, it's it's like a great card. But, you know, seven of wands seems like such a movie type of thing. Like, you only see it in the movies where someone's like fighting for their love. Like, people don't do that anymore, right? But more people should do that, you know? Let's see. Queen of Pentacles, right? Okay. Whoever this is, um, say this is a masculine wanting to come towards you. You're a feminine, right? They see you as this Queen of Pentacles. You're definitely worth it. You know, they put you on a pedestal. You're damn sure worth it. So yeah, someone should fight for you, right? And say this is a Queen of Pentacles who's thinking this about their masculine. Um, they shouldn't be too proud to come and fight for it, you know? Because if they are this queen of pentacles, they have high standards and you're definitely worth it as well, right? Hermit in reverse and the eight of swords in reverse. All someone has to do is kind of communicate and stop, you know, get out of this self-sabotage energy of just holding themselves back all the time and shoulda, coulda, woulda energy, right? Seven of pentacles, please. All right, two of cups, yeah. 
you know, it's kind of like, what's the roots? That's the seven of pentacles. Like, what is the roots? What's the foundation that these seeds are planted on between you and this person? And the soil is damn good, right? Like, the two of cups is the clarification there. You and this person's bond is very special, one of a kind. It's not easy to come by. You know, everybody that you meet on, on the street or, you know, wherever you meet people to date, you're not always going to come by a two of cups energy. It's very special, one of a kind. Um, you know, and it's not something that you just want to throw away. You know, you definitely want to work. It, it, it should be a type of situation or connection that you do want to work through, but it has to be reciprocated and it has to be, you know, two, right? You can't just be one person wanting to work through it. All right, let's see what else. And we have the magician in reverse. The problem is that... For a long time, one of you, one of you was like almost like con artist energy with that magician reverse. I do not like that magician reverse. I think that is like such a like, I think that is like a dangerous person to date because it's like someone who is not really, it's almost like a, um, need, dare I say, <laughs> dare I say, it's like someone who's just like um definitely like big player energy and just like um like a con artist in love, you know? And it's so hard to trust someone like that. But um a lot of times too that magician in reverse is someone who has encountered a lot of magicians in reverse. So they kind of feel like they have to be that to you know, not get played. So it's like a player who's dated so many players, has been cheated on so many times, and then they finally meet someone who's actually genuine, but they still don't know how to turn off that player mode, that kind of energy, you know what I'm saying? That's the magician in, in reverse, but it's a dangerous game, magician in reverse, okay? At least with me, like, you know, I'm not all the way put together. I don't know. <laughs> That magician reverse is such a nasty person in love, but you know, I do I, I do sympathize with the magician in reverse because I feel like it's a player that's been played. Like mo most likely, that magician in reverse has learned the hard way, you know? It's kind of like the hustler in the streets that had to hustle at a young age because if not, he was going to be hustled. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? All right, so five of swords, you know, like I said, okay, so one of one of y'all was not all the way together either. One of y'all, you know, one of y'all gave it to the to the to this magician in reverse. Okay, one of y'all told it how it is. You gave it to them. You let them know about themselves. So what's the five of swords? Tell me about this five of swords moment. Um, the star card. Ooh, you know what's crazy? Even though there was like some bad words exchanged between you and someone or a really, you know, cruel moment or like, you know, um, an angry um, argument between you and someone, it actually um, pushed forward a lot of healing for someone. Maybe this magician in reverse with the star. So it's very interesting how that happens, right? Clarify the star. Yeah, four swords in reverse, okay? For someone who li literally wasn't healing, what is four swords? Four swords is another healing card of taking time to like have that healing after a period of unrest, right? And four swords in reverse is someone who's just, you know, unwilling, doesn't cut out distractions when they do need some resting, okay? Um, and they should go into healing so it's kind of funny because you know your person is having a hard time cutting out the distraction but nonetheless it does it's almost like you tell someone about themselves they get it yes it's painful but it's like needed to hear that because that's something I've been struggling with and I wouldn't have known that unless someone really told me to my face and I got it you know like okay damn I'm hurting you like I, how I've been hurt in my past and I know how effed up that made me, you know? Three of Cups, okay? So someone's thinking about, okay, how do I reunite with this person, but in a positive way, 
to show them that I've actually took their advice, even though it was kind of mean. How do I show them that? Okay, so <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. All right, so I'm going to get some cards for this person's next actions and then I'm going to end it. All right, so what is this person's next actions towards my viewer? What is this person's next actions towards my viewer? Let's see. Three of Cups came out again. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, let's see what else. Seven of Pentacles. Devil, Jesus. <laughs> Not the devil. All right, two of pentacles and last card is the knight of wands, okay? And we have the king of cups, again, on the bottom deck. Same person, same person here. All right, so three of cups. This person is wanting to reunite and they're also wanting to do it in a very lighthearted, fun way, okay? Um, so they don't want any of the dramatics, you know, you guys already just left off from a very dramatic place and effed up place. So it's like, let's just have a good time, please. All right. Seven of pentacles. What about the seven of pentacles? Seven of cups. Okay. And a two of cups. Someone could be telling someone like, Hey, you know, you are, it's almost like laying it out there that some, that you are not someone, you all right, you are like, you know, exactly what someone wants, but they just were too immature to act right or they were unhealed to act right and they made a lot of mistakes towards you and really, you know, you were really good to them. So someone's going to let you know that. Um, devil. Devil is the moon. I don't know if someone's going to let you know that because the moon is very secretive and devil is something that most people would hide. But it is this energy of how someone has been obsessing, okay? And it has ha, has had these secret emotions for you for a while. And will continue to have them even if you guys decide to reunite or not. It's still in this energy, okay? Two of Pentacles, okay, Why? Page of Wands and Three of Pentacles. This is like right now, this person is very indecisive whether to just send that message with that Page of Wands and show you that interest of let's get together, you know? Um, and they don't really know the best game plan to do so. Like someone's trying to think of if they should just make an excuse, right? Like something stupid or should they just be forthcoming and just be blunt and say it outright, you know? They don't know how to relay the message, okay? Um, what's the Knight of Wands? All right, Three of Swords, what else? Ace of Pentacles. Someone really wants to get out of this energy of feeling heartbroken or like they lost a love, okay? They don't like feeling that way. They don't like feeling sad over you, okay? They want to get out of that energy as soon as possible with that Knight of Wands. We do have this Ace of Pentacles. So this could be this person wanting to come in and just offer you something um, tangible, you know, or a really like, you know, um, offer of a promise or like deeper, I don't want to say commitment because Ace of Pentacles is like just the beginning steps of something that could lead to commitment. So that's kind of what someone wants to offer to you because they're hoping that if you accept that, then they can take this burden of heartbreak off of them. Okay. So that's how someone is feeling because they're still feeling this, you know, defeat and, um, like this guilt or shame from the five of swords and it's really making them feel emotionally unbalanced which i don't think this person does well in i don't think anybody does well in that energy right all right so i'm gonna leave it there like the reading guys and i will see you guys tomorrow when i post some of your readings in the morning all right bye bye